Hey everybody, thanks for listening. I'm just going to do an audio one. I'll make it quick. Still working on some of the longer projects. So uh, I wanted to talk about Trump and North Korea. That's the news now. I want to do regular news again, I, I, just like I used to, but I'm, I'm going to get back into it. But you see, anyway, here's my take on it. I hope to God that Trump is playing the fool right now because he looks like a fool he looks like he's completely being conned by kim and, and it's possible he's doing a long con i guess on kim and uh you know if if, if uh you know if, if he has if he's just trying to lay out a carpet so that you know kim thinks that he's making progress and he's looking big he's getting he, kim kim jong-un is getting every single thing that he wants and and i don't know if trump knows kim's propaganda game if he doesn't care but in North Korea, Kim Jong Un is the is the physical reason that the sun rises and the wind blows. He is a divine figure. He is a he is God. Okay, that he is. You, you, so this, he, I don't know why he is feeding into this, but I hope it's part of that four D chess thing that uh, Scott Adams is always saying Trump is playing. I don't know. I mean the the con in con man does start. Start, stand for confidence, so maybe it's it's all just building his confidence, but it doesn't look right. And and in terms of what concretely and practically happened, China's got to be just glowing because with the end of the military ga war games with South Korea, that means that any kind of military action by China or Russia or any of their satellites in the region, America's going to be on the back foot. We're not going to be ready. We're, our battle readiness is going to be hurt by this position there's no reason for the sake of somebody who hasn't offered anything to stop doing the war games you know at least if you're going to give that up get something back other than a photographic opportunity i hope it's more than that i really do i i it's a it's a completely baseless hope because we're talking about donald trump here but i mean if, if scientology was a country th that would be north korea he, he's, he, you know, and it's not, I, I just don't think a country like that can enter into normal political relations with other countries. It's just not going to work. I could be wrong here, but I think it's all fantasy. I even had, I watched this clip about North Korean defectors. You all know about North Korea, just listen to North Korean defectors. I think Vice just had a story. I, I could probably clip in a short piece, but uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Kim Jong un. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, I, my, my, uh, I, mean, like I said, I'm gonna keep this short. It's just a quick rant. My opinion is this will all collapse, and that everything that Trump is doing right now will eventually amount to nothing. And whether or not any of this relationship or any vestige of it survives his administration, it, it just, it's just, I just, it's not going to lead anywhere. If, if, and people are skeptical about this, Kim's even serious about denuclearization, or the conditions are going to be so ridiculous that neither side can come to a real argument. Unfortunately, because it's Trump, the media is going to paint this in a completely negative way, and there's going to be no nuance or subtlety, so that's not very helpful, in my opinion, listen to mainstream media on this. And his supporters, I don't think, will care. <laughs> I don't think they're they're connected or tied into cause and effect that way. And because of the emotional sunk costs of supporting Trump this long, they'll probably continue to support him, even if he fails them economically, politically, in every and all respects, because they just have this emotional relationship with the man. Um, I'm hopefully going to get better at this, a little bit more coherent, but I also want to be quick. So thank you for listening. Uh, let me know what you think about this format of video, and please subscribe for future news and commentaries. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you the next time I see you, or you'll hear me the next time you hear me.